bottles and bottles of bubbles Girls with tattoos like getting in trouble Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines Got myself all of my favorite things Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. My name is Nakiski Noir and I am going to be doing my first video with you guys today. As you could probably guess from the little intro, this is going to be an homage to the Ariana Grande video, Seven Rings, but also it is going to be a part of the Bratz Challenge. I have been so inspired lately by all these incredible makeup looks that everyone has been doing on Instagram. I love Bratz dolls. I am a 90s kid, so seeing that alone was super inspiring. Um, I also feel like on a day to day basis, I try and do my makeup sort of like a doll, anyways. I love dramatic looks, I love lots of glitter, big lashes, and everything. So, of course, when I saw this challenge, I was like, you know what, this is it. This needs to be my first video. So, it took me a while to get here, but here we are finally doing it. Um, thank you to everyone that has followed me for so long on Instagram. I really look forward to the future with you guys where I can do more content based off things that you guys wanna see personally. Um, definitely have more interaction, so please feel free to comment down below if there's anything that you would like to see, uh, anything that you guys have to comment about this video that you wanna see improved, that you want more of. If it's cats, just say cats, cause my cats are hams and they love to be in things all the time. So please let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you so much for watching and I am going to be starting this tutorial for this makeup look now, so here we go. <laughs> so a little side note to you guys this makeup tutorial has kind of become a get ready with me instead of a makeup tutorial I am gonna gloss over a lot of things and just kind of move forward really quickly or do some stuff off camera because this video would have taken probably two hours and that's a long time to sit here so it's time to get started with this get ready with me so uh, everyone just grab a beverage, sit back, we're gonna laugh, cry, cringe a little, and we're gonna make the most out of this, so let's have some fun. The artist that made the Bratz doll that I was most inspired by was Martin Cantos, and I'm gonna put a picture down below of the doll that I was inspired by. His inspiration was from the Ariana Grande Seven Rings video, which I thought was absolutely amazing. And the doll, of course, because she happened to have pink hair. Um, I felt like a instant connection there with that since I do naturally have, well not naturally, there's nothing natural about this. I do normally have pink hair given I did buy this one, but my actual hair is pink. So I felt a connection with that and I thought her makeup style was really cool. She's got like this fun glittery cut crease and I thought why not go on here and show you guys how to do that. First off, I did all my skincare already. Um, I am going to put a little bit of moisturizer on first though, just to make it extra glowy since the doll generally has glowier skin. So after we get the moisturizer on, I'm gonna go in with my favorite Tatcha Dewy Luminous Spray. Just as an extra boost to the luminosity. I'm just gonna treat it like a serum and just pat it in. I find myself using this all the time throughout the day. It never makes my makeup run and it just kind of makes my usually like super matte foundation look a little bit glowier. Moist. Moist. Next up, we are gonna go in with a primer. Now usually if I wasn't doing makeup for a video, I would put on sunscreen. Super important, always wear sunscreen, but for the purpose of this, I'm not gonna put any on. So we're just gonna use a primer. So this is my absolute favorite. It's the Veil Primer from Hourglass. Uh, just gives me a nice smooth surface, super velvety soft, and it never messes with the texture of any of my foundations that I like to use. We're just gonna smooth this all over. Alrighty. So now we are all primed and ready to go. So I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite foundation. This is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I do have drier skin, so that's why I usually slather myself with a ton of skincare first before going in with this super matte foundation. But I also find that it mixes really nicely with oils. So I'm gonna put a couple pumps of two different colors on there. Um, I usually use like light 42 and light 44 mixed together 
depending on the look I'm going for. If I'm going out at night, I'll only use the light 42, but it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so I'll mix it with the 44 just to kind of match for a daytime look. And then I'm gonna put a couple drops in of the Rainforest of the Sea oil, just to make it a little bit. I just realized I left my beauty blender in the other room. I'm sorry. So I mixed it all together, and now I'm just going to slap it all over my face. Lots of swiping, lots of bouncing. I love using a beauty blender because I can just get it all on there, pack it on, and then move on to more important, fun things. So I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel for a long time, um, taking, a, taking a bit of courage to get to this point, but I really want to have more opportunities to interact with you guys, and I get a lot of different requests for tutorials for makeup looks and things like that, and I know it's kind of a harder thing to do on Instagram, so I really want another platform to be able to interact with you guys. Just patting everything in and you can see how my skin still looks a little bit glowy even though it is a really matte foundation because we did add that glow oil and all the good skincare beforehand. I did use an essence, I used a toner, different serums which I can make a skincare uh, routine video for you guys later on if you would like so just leave a comment down below if that's something that you would be interested in. I am super into skincare. I used to have really, really, really bad skin, a lot of acne and a lot of scarring from that. So over the last few years, I actually started watching um, different YouTubers talk about their skincare routines. And especially with the trends in Korea, I got really into K-beauty and started doing a very extensive skincare routine and it's completely changed my skin. So I got my base on. Um, I know a lot of people like to do the eyes first because of fallout, but I always feel really weird if I put my eyes, my eye makeup on before I do my foundation. So I always just kind of hold my breath and hope that there's no fallout and then just fix it later if there is. Uh, next I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shade Snow. It does not match me at all. Uh, it's extremely yellow, as you can probably see, and darker than my skin, but it is such a good concealer that I don't, I don't even care. Doesn't even matter. Concealer is done, foundation is done, and now we are going to powder and move on to the fun part, which is the eyes. So just recently, Kat Von D came out with the new Locket powder. Um, I used to use her old Locket powder for years. That was my holy grail powder. I was really, really, really sad when I thought that it was going away. Um, and then she surprised us all by coming out with the new powder. And the old one I was light 42, and now I am fair 105. And let me just tell you, if I thought the last powder was amazing, whew, this one, life-changing absolutely i always use the sponge to apply it if you want a little bit lighter coverage you can use a brush but i like to go for a very 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 full coverage porcelain look so i will be using the sponge to apply it all over now on days that i do want a little bit of a dewier look or less coverage i will do like a tinted luminous moisturizer or a bb cream and then I'll just lightly powder and use the brush with this so it doesn't look too heavy. But when I'm going for my full glam looks or my full on vampire looks, oh, we're going in with the sponge. Is this excessive? Probably. Am I gonna do it anyways? Yes. So for this tutorial, I already have my hair up I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I am not a hair person. You are never gonna see a hair tutorial on this channel. If you saw what the back of this looks like, you know what, actually, let's, let's, put a, let's put a picture right here of what the back of my hair looks like right now because it's absolutely terrifying. I'm not a hair person. It's bad, right? But that is why this is a makeup channel and not a hair channel. Now I know that this kind of crazy high coverage is not to everyone's taste and that's totally fine. Um, this, is just, this is just what I like to do. But most of the time, I don't leave my house during the day anyways, so at night, you're not gonna see how much powder I'm wearing. Hello? <laughs> 
already. So there we go, the base is all done. Now I am going to go in and work on the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I have a lot of favorite eyeshadow primers. I really like the Too Faced one. I just recently got the P. Louise primer, which I've been using and kind of getting used to, um, which I actually am gonna use today to cut the crease. But for now, we are gonna just use the Urban Decay because we're not doing a very bright eyeshadow look, so I don't feel like I need to use the other base. This one will do just fine. Base is on. So in the picture, the doll looked like she had a little more of like a dark brownish smoky eye with the cut crease but I felt like adding my own little twist to it. So today I'm gonna do more of a like smoky, rosy purple one. So I am going to use the Kat Von D Lolita palette, which is my favorite palette right now. I've been using it as kind of my everyday palette. Um, it just has these gorgeous colors that I feel like, I don't know, it makes me feel sort of like a Victorian maiden that just walks around in these gorgeous, gorgeous dresses and have roses all over the house and tapestries all over the wall. So first I'm gonna go in to the crease and do a little bit of the lightest shade here just to kind of smooth everything out, which is an almost white, sort of light pinky shade. Next, we are going to take a flat brush, just something small like this. We're gonna go into that nice, deep, magenta purple shade and I am going to pack it on where I want the crease to eventually get cut, so. So now we've got that nice dead rose effect going on with the eye. We're gonna just go ahead and do it on the other side as well. I need to add a little bit more color to this one to make it a little bit deeper in the crease. Because we are gonna go in and cut the crease, so we wanna make sure that there's enough difference in color there. So now that we have that nice dark base layer on, I am going to go in and cut the crease. I am going in with the Anastasia 18 brush. It's a little bit more of like a silicone feeling brush. So it's just really good to cut the crease because it has a very clean edge to it. So you just wanna make sure you're going in there with something that has a nice clean edge because if you get a really fluffy brush, it's not gonna make a sharp line. And we are doing kind of a half cut crease. So I'm not going to put a ton of the product towards this side of my eye. We are just gonna blend that out anyways. Yeah, so always gotta be super careful when I'm doing this, because of course I have these lovely talons that do make it a little bit more challenging when I'm trying to poke about in my eye area. But on a daily basis, I don't make it that hard to do things, except for like picking up change if I happen to drop it on the floor, or if I try and put my credit card in at the gas station, sometimes that gets a little questionable. But for the most part, they don't really make daily living too much more challenging and I just love my vampire claws, so can't live without them. All right, so there we go. We have it cut a little bit higher than the natural crease and I am going to go in with a white eyeshadow. So this base doesn't need to be set per se, but I am gonna be using a glitter glue, so I do wanna put an eyeshadow on top of it so that it doesn't just turn like muddy from the base and the glue both being wet. So I'm gonna use um, the Sugar Pill Taco Eyeshadow. This has been my all time favorite white eyeshadow since the dawn of time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. <laughs> That's how old I am. And uh, we're just gonna pat it on. There we go. So now we have that nice blend from the super, super white shade into the purple. 
And I've really only used three colors in this in this look, but I feel like the Kat Von D and the Sugar Phil Shadows, they just blend so beautifully together that you can get a lot of variation in your shade with very little help of transitions. I'm finishing up this other eye. And I was gonna try and think of something interesting to tell y'all that happened in my daily life. But um, the highlight of my day, besides this, of course, y'all, was um, was my bowl of oatmeal this morning. So I'm really like a 90 year old crazy cat lady inside. I get really excited about oatmeal. I go to bed at like eight o'clock at night. I get up at three o'clock in the morning. So I'm like a 90 year old grandma trapped in a vampire's body trapped in this. So for being a 90 year old vampire, when you think about it, I'm actually quite young. Speaking of cats, I have two. One of them is quite large, but that is just because she is a large cat. She is all fluff. She's like part Maine Coon and part some sort of lion or I don't even know. She's a massive animal, which I will put maybe just a little picture or a clip or something of her in here. Her name is Shroomy, um, but she goes by Shmoosifer or Shmoo. She's just, she's just a ball of happy fluff. And by a ball of happy fluff, I mean she bites me 500 times a day, but that's how she shows her love. So it's okay. We have a good understanding of each other. She's my, she's my guard dog, basically. And then I have another cat who is a tuxedo Siamese who is sweet as apple pie always wants to be on top of me, but hates the other cat. So if you hear any random cat growling noises in the background, it's probably them going at it and fighting, but in a, in a nice way, they never really hurt each other. They're, they're play fighting. Blend, blend, blend. We're blended, blend, blend, blend. That's really the trick to anything, is just blend it for a million hours until you're extremely bored and like dust has settled over you and the sun has gone up and down and years have passed and you've gone on for so long that you don't even remember why you started blending, and then maybe blend a little bit more, and then you're good. That's <laughs> part of waking up, is blending. The best part of waking up is blending, and then blending some more. I'm pretty sure I spend the majority of my life just blending. I think I blend more than I sleep. I am a makeup artist by day, so if I'm not blending on myself, I'm blending on somebody else. I might as well just tape a brush to my hand because that's what I'm always doing. And we're just blending these edges out so it gets a little bit more of a blown out smoky eye. So we do want that super dramatic. So I am gonna do a very dramatic wing. Obviously the doll has exaggerated cat eyes. So I am going to go in and draw the wing part first. I just kind of marked where I want the wing to go so that when I draw everything, it ends up where I want it to and doesn't get caught in the crease and do that weird loop thing that eyeliner likes to do often. Yep. Not gonna lie, they're not exactly the same. I'm okay with that. It's really rare that I'm ever gonna get two cat eyes that are ever the same and I'm sure you guys can relate to that. But you know, it's not about being perfect, it's just about having fun and enjoying what you do and enjoy this. So if they're not the same, I'm okay with it. Hope y'all are okay with it. We're just gonna continue on, so. Glitter. My entire house is just covered in glitter. I feel like my poor cats are always covered in glitter. I find glitter in my bed. There's glitter all over the walls. There's just glitter everywhere. I'm never gonna escape it. And I've just come to accept that because I like, I like glitter. My poor cats have that issue. My cats just like <laughs> glitter. It is what it is. They don't complain, so, you know. I'm always super inspired by music videos, so I thought this was a perfect opportunity with the doll already being inspired by a music video look to sort of recreate a little bit of the video. Um, I also love of course, fashion and styling, so I thought let's just combine all these things and just make a quick little video showcasing not only the makeup, but just sort of the whole vibe of what we're doing today. 
I really want to continue to do things like this in the future for you guys. So if there's any specific music videos that inspire you, that you really like the makeup and you want a tutorial on how to do that, please comment down below and let me know. Um, I'm open to any videos of any, any genre, anything that you guys find interesting. I consider myself a little bit of a chameleon. I'm always changing the way I look. I feel like I have, no, I don't have like one specific thing that I do all the time. So yeah, just super open. Let me know what you guys want to see. Now I'm going to take that glitter and just pack it on. I feel like doing glitter in an eye look just automatically levels up. Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Uh, I just want whoever does my makeup for my funeral, just do this, please. Glitter everywhere. So now the glitter is done. Just gonna wipe away whatever fell below. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty, pretty snatched. We're gonna take, now we're gonna line the inner rim with a white eyeliner to make my eyes just look a little bit bigger. So I always use the NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil, like I'm sure everyone else on the planet does because it's literally the best. And let's go line it. I do white eyeliner on my inner rim a lot, just on a regular daily basis because even though I have green eyes and they're kind of bright, I always have huge eyelashes on. So I feel like it always makes my eyes look really dark. So I like to put the white eyeliner in there to make everything just kind of pop a little bit more. And then what goes up must come down. So we're gonna go in with that plummy color again and draw on the bottom. I always put color under my eye. Not only does it help to kind of bring the whole look together, but I feel like it also sets the concealer even more and helps hide the fact that I did use 10 pounds of powder underneath my eye. Right. There we are. Already looking pretty doll-like, right? All right. So since we did do the little cut crease, we do need to go in and further define that. So I am going to use a black eyeshadow. And I have the Kat Von D Fetish palette, which is my other favorite palette that I've been using recently. And I'm just going to use the black shade from that called Rubber. I just love that she made a fetish inspired palette and all these names like Dominatrix and Submissive and Shibari. That's pretty freaking amazing to have something like that mainstream. So thank you, Kat Von D. And I'll say this right now, even though I'm doing a Bratz doll tutorial, this is kind of what I do every day. I mean, if you can't be a little extra to go to the grocery store on a Tuesday, when, when else are you gonna do it, right? I'm a firm believer in creating your own fantasy. No one's gonna make it for you. So make every single day the best day. Don't you forget about me. Okay. Now I'm going to put some mascara on that I definitely left in the bathroom. Hold that thought. Alrighty, so next up are the brows. I'm going to use the Anastasia shade Ebony of the Dip Brow. I usually go back and forth between this really deep brown and then like a true black for most of my daily looks, but I also sometimes do purple brows or pink brows. It just depends on what I'm feeling for the day. Why do I forget everything? I forgot that brush. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um. Don't hate me. <laughs> okay. Now I'm good. All right. So for my brows, I always use the Kat Von D number 70. This is my holy grail brush for getting super crisp brows. And this was a fresh brand new dip brow. It's the best feeling when you get a brand new dip brow. It's not all 
dry and crusty like my hands. Please forgive them. I have the hands of a crypt keeper. I guess I do makeup all day, so my hands are always in brush cleaner and makeup remover. And I'm also kind of a germaphobe, so it's just tons of hand sanitizer and I wash my hands a million times, so my hands show my age, which is 9,000, clearly. What, 9,000? I am not going to cover my brows with a glue stick or anything and do a super exaggerated brow. Um, so I am going to just kind of do my brows how I normally would, which is a little bit more of a dramatic brow anyways, but it's not quite as lifted as a doll one. As a brow, as a doll eyebrow would be. This is also really strange doing my makeup in complete silence. I'm never in silence. I either have music on or I have the TV on. I don't even like to sleep in silence. I always have something on the TV. I feel like my thoughts are way too loud for pure silence around me. Anyone else feel that way? And of course, I ended up making this eyebrow a little bit bigger, so now we're gonna even out this eyebrow. I don't know if that happens to y'all, but it happens to me almost every day between the wings and the brows. It always gets higher and higher and higher or longer and longer and longer, but you know what? It's, again, it's, it's totally fine. Earlier today when I was trying out this makeup, I drew the wing way too far in, so it got caught in my crease, so to try and fix it, I kept taking the wing out until it was almost to my hairline, and then literally was like half of my eyelid. It was a look. Yep, that eyebrow got bigger, so this one's gonna get bigger again. Okay, even enough. I've tried. I've tried using like a brow stencil before, but to be fair, all the brow stencils are like, Nice natural brows. This is a bitch brow. That's what we're going for. We don't want to look natural. I want to look as inhuman as possible on a daily basis. That's why I feel like the doll makeup thing is perfect because I literally just want to look like a doll. Uh -huh. I actually remember to grab my eyebrow gel. I've forgotten like 10 things during this video, but I remembered this. So of course just clear brow gel, nothing crazy. And I definitely did not use brow gel until like three months ago. I don't know why, it just never occurred to me, even though, again, makeup artist, I use it on other people. Never use it on myself. And then one day I was just like, oh, revelations. So we got the most important part done. Now we're gonna kind of speed through all the other little things, just like contour and blush and whatnot. And then we will, we will be done. All right. So, contour, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Mini Palette. I use the shade, or the, the palette light, but the shade is actually somber. Um, so, it's just like a taupey brown color. And I am going to do a ton of contouring here. I'm gonna go around the hairline. Another fun fact, I never, ever, ever, ever used bronzer. I always thought that it was gonna make me look super orange, of course, because I'm really fair. Um, and I never put contour around my hairline or anything. But then I realized one day that, given the right shade, it actually just sort of brings out the features of your face more. So I'm no longer afraid of bronzer. And in fact, I use a ton of it. You want enough that it looks contour, but not so much that you look like you have a beard because boy have I made that mistake before. And then you get your pictures back from that night at the club and you thought you looked so cute and everyone's like, why do you have a five o'clock shadow? And we're back to that blending for a million years thing. Just, uh, and we're done. I forgot my blush. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> you know what, I'm not even gonna, I'm, I'm not even gonna do it, I'm just gonna use, no, I need to. If I use the wrong thing, it's gonna ruin the whole thing. Sorry. 
For blush, I am going to use the Kat Von D Lolita. This is my favorite blush. I actually didn't used to wear blush until this came out because I felt like everything was super pink or super peachy or super brown. But this is that nice like dead rose color that just, oh, just goes with everything, every mood. Kat Von D Metal Crush. We're going in with every single color in there and highlighting for the gods. Now look at that. Look at that. Plastic is fantastic. Black in plastic, it's fantastic. Wow, I think that's actually the nicest I've ever drawn my lips on. <sighs> Surprise, something good happened. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down. Now the lashes I was gonna do, but they're still kind of wet. Everything's wet right now. My face looks wet and juicy. I just wanna look like a freshly picked peach. Just that nice, like, juicy. juicy. Matte, but wet at the same time. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense, but. We're gonna use the Kat Von D Everlasting Glimmer Veil in the shade Lolita. These are my holy grail and I'm so scared that they're going away because all the other colors are being discontinued for some reason, but I actually usually use these on my eyes every day. I feel like it gives a nice like wet looking eye without having to use gloss, but I mean, just look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like a pinky gold shimmery. Oh, it's just delicious, I love it. But we are gonna use it on the lips today. Lashes are on. Oh, she cute. My lips, they're popping. <laughs> I can't get this open. Okay, so I guess some things are difficult with these nails, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Struggle bus. <laughs> nope, still don't have it. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what it is first. So this is my favorite lip gloss that I always go for. It's the Lip Gloss Boss Balmy Gloss in Clear. It is a cruelty-free company, cruelty-free gloss. I absolutely, absolutely love it. It has a little bit of a minty tingle to it. I am not a lip gloss person at all, but I do love this one. So if I am gonna go for a glossy look, I always reach for this. It never feels sticky. It stays super, super shiny and it doesn't drip all over your face or get all over your teeth or dribble down your chin. There's just a lot of things that can happen with a lip gloss that I try to avoid on a daily basis, but I love the way it looks in pictures, so I do use this a lot. And this is definitely in my kit too because it looks really, really pretty on the skin. So sometimes I'll use it to highlight cheekbones. I feel like clear gloss just has a lot of good uses, but I can't open this, so I'm going to pass this off camera to have it open for me. Because <laughs> I am having issues right now. Um, and lipstick on my teeth. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this. And we want that lip gloss pop in. So by a little, I mean a lot. So the main makeup is done now. Um, the last thing that I am going to do to emulate the doll is to write on my cheek, just like in the picture. She has the word seven rings. This is going to be a fun challenge because I do have to write it backwards so it doesn't look backwards in real life. Um, ooh, wish me luck. It's like, oh, oops, Drew Barbecue Grill on the <laughs> No, let me tell you what we're not gonna do. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right, so. Oh my God, my cat's gonna bite me as I'm doing this. I see it coming. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> watch, it, watch it be backwards anyways. Okay. Wow, this is not going well. <laughs> Don't tell me it's backwards. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it backwards or is it correct? Is it backwards? <laughs> there it is. 
never said I was an artist. I just like doing makeup. So, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a graffiti and be sloppy and whatever anyways. But I had fun, so that's all that's important, right? Did y'all have fun? I had fun. This was an amazing first video. I'm so excited to start on this magnificent, fantastical, glittery, vampire, unicorn, anime, supersonic journey. That made no sense, but here we are. I appreciate y'all so much for watching me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here for this. Um, like I said, if you guys have any ideas of things that you want to see from my channel, please comment down below. This was the very first video. So everything past this is just gonna be all led by what you guys wanna see. So feel free to hit me up on my Instagram. I'm gonna put links below so you guys can hit me up there. Pretty soon there will also be a Twitch in the works. So if you guys are into gaming, you guys can join me on that channel as well. We're just gonna do all the things, all the things. So once again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys like this makeup. Please check out the Ariana Grande video if you haven't. It was Seven Rings, it was absolutely amazing. And also please give some love to the artist of this brat stall, Martin Cantos. I am going to link down below. Woof. Hello, hair. I am going to link that down below as well so that you can go show love for that. And thank you guys. Just thank you so much. So I will see you next time with awesome new things, hopefully. Awkward outro. <laughs> Bye. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanity